Thank you. Mrs. Mariet Shake will introduce the nomination of the standing men protests in Turkey. Please. Thank you very much, President and colleagues. From the left to the right, from the progressive to the conservative side of this House, we agree that the EU's relationship with Turkey is of crucial importance. What happens on our borders in candidate member states has an even stronger effect on us here in the EU. That is why we watched in awe as we saw disproportionate and excessive police force being used against people. We watched in awe as tear gas was shot at close range to people demonstrating peacefully and as people died and got injured by the thousands by batons and water cannons. Lawyers and journalists were arrested and accused, and those who helped fellow citizens in need are still targets and are hindered from doing business in Turkey. Now, instead of seeking common ground, instead of taking responsibility for reconciliation, the governing party called its members to the streets, dangerously pe pitting people against people. With the soccer of prize, the European Parliament has the opportunity to send an important signal to both the government of Turkey, but much more importantly, to all those people who stood peacefully in protest of violations of human rights, such as the freedom of assembly, of the press, of speech, of the internet, of the rights of women and of minorities. The grievances of the millions of people in Turkey who took to the streets last summer are many and they are diverse but their concerns are shared. There cannot and should not be a dictatorship of the majority in Turkey, and a true democracy respects the rights of all, especially of minorities and minority opinions and lifestyles, but at least of human rights. And the Gezi Park protests were a spark to a much larger fire and touched upon problems that remain to be solved. It is essential that the Turkish government respects the human rights of all people in Turkey and this sadly is not reflected by the actions over the past months in which international media and the international financial sector have been blamed for conspiring against Turkey's success and accountability or independent investigations are still lacking. And this is not in line with what we would like to see, namely a flourishing Turkey in which human rights and fundamental freedoms are at the core. But the demonstrations and the crackdowns continue to this day. Last week, Ahmed Atakan died in Hatay until last night, three nights in a row, protesters demanded justice in Kadikö in Istanbul. People arrested during the demonstrations continue to be in prison and the polarization in Turkey continues to run painfully deep. This parliament should send a clear signal of respect for the human rights defenders and for individuals in defiance of repression in Turkey. The individuals in defiance of repression are symbolized by the standing man, a man standing silently in protest, an individual which started a movement without a leader, but Erdem Gunduz, a choreographer who started it, can pick up the prize if we need to identify an individual. So colleagues, I ask you to vote for the standing man in Turkey and with that to send a signal from the European people to the people in Turkey that we recognize their struggle and that we stand by them, not silently but loudly. Thank you.